Some believe these commercial jets are part of a secret government spraying campaign called chemtrails. The story next on Fox 10 News. Is the government using commercial jets for a secret and possibly deadly chemical spraying campaign? The government needed to do this spraying and they didn't have enough military aircraft to pull off the program. Tonight, only on Fox, the conspiracy theory behind so-called chemtrails. There have been uh, bacteria and virus found in, in uh, captured trails. This apparent chemtrail was photographed over Phoenix. What is it and why are so many people concerned? You'll see next, only on Fox. Only on Fox tonight, a tale of government conspiracy that sounds more like a script for the X-Files. But this one comes from people who say they have proof of a government plot. A plot using aircraft to spray toxic chemical and biological agents on us. So tonight, the Fox 10 investigators hear the evidence for and against the so-called chemtrails. You decide if the threat is real. Here's Bruce Dunbar. Contrails are like tire tracks, imprints in the sky made by passing planes. I know about contrails. I know how they're formed, why they're formed. Uh, this is something very different. Contrails are harmless streams of ice created by jet engines at high altitude. A chemtrail is something that looks like a contrail because it comes from the back of an airplane. But that's where the similarity ends. Chemtrails are anything but harmless, according to believers. What happens if this problem is not addressed? 98% of us die eventually. Die, they say, from a secret program of spraying. There have been uh, bacteria and virus found in, in uh, captured trails. Turns out chemtrails are a national concern. If you go to a web browser and type in chemtrails, it'll blow your mind. Uh, there are hundreds of websites that cover nothing but the situation. This so-called chemtrail was photographed in the sky over Phoenix. An hour after they're sprayed, you're now seeing all this material falling out of the trail. But is it a chemtrail? This expert says it's Virga from a zero cumulus cloud. And it's the same kind of thing we get in the summertime with a monsoon. We'll oftentimes see these rain shafts coming down from clouds but they're not reaching the ground. Believers say chemtrail spraying is often done in an X pattern. I see these X's being drawn uh, at the same altitude level uh, as many as two and three planes at a time. Dr. Cervini has a different explanation. Are we seeing some odd event going on here? Well, I think the odd event that we're seeing is in a massive amount of air traffic that we've seen increasing over the last couple decades. Finally, believers say spraying creates a cloud over the valley. Here is a brown halo that is appearing around the sun after a full day of chemtrail spraying. But is chemtrail spraying to blame? When you have enough moisture to create a very thin layer of cirrus cloud, you get that kind of a halo effect. What is this third trail doing on a two-engine aircraft? Believers say commercial airlines are involved in chemtrail spraying. The government needed to do this spraying and they didn't have enough military aircraft to pull off the program. And so they have more or less commandeered commercial aircraft. They sent this email to a chemtrail website. It's purportedly from an airline mechanic. During routine maintenance on a plane, he found more tanks, pumps, and pipes than should have been there. He found a network of small pipes that ended in the trailing edges of the wings and horizontal stabilizers. He said static discharge wicks had been hollowed out to allow whatever flows through these pipes to be discharged. This is a mechanic, an expert in that aircraft, and had never seen this equipment on his own airline. If a secret program of spraying is underway, what's the point? I think it's a culling process. I think they're targeting certain ethnic groups, certain economic groups, for eventual elimination. I feel that what they're doing is experimenting in the disbursement of bioagents and poisonous toxins that will be used in the next war. They look like tire tracks, but are they simply evidence of high-flying jets 
or proof of a secret program of annihilation. What I'm saying is, it doesn't belong there, it doesn't fit the laws of physics. And my gut says that something's wrong. Anything else you want to say? God help us. You may be wondering why one of the researchers we had there wanted us to conceal his identity. He says an intermediary told him a paid assassin for the government issued a warning that anyone who went public about chemtrails was in danger of disappearing.